Hey friends, this is another edition of People Also Ask. So we just finished talking about the state law challenges with domestic asset protection trusts and LLCs. If you didn't see that video, we'll leave a link to it below. So number one, people also ask, what states allow domestic asset protection trusts? And right now there's somewhere around 17, 18, a couple of new ones I think are coming into the works. Offhand, some of the most popular ones are uh, Nevada, Missouri, South Dakota. I will leave a list of them below. There's quite a few of them. People also ask, two, how do I set up a domestic asset protection trust? That involves creating the trust. There's three parties to it. The grantor, the person who makes the trust, the trustee manages the trust, and the beneficiary benefits from the assets in the trust. So basically you set up a trust agreement between those three parties using the laws of a state or better yet, a different country that offers asset protection trusts, put some assets in that trust and there you go. That's the very broad overview of setting up a domestic asset protection trust. People also ask, number three, are assets in a trust protected from divorce? I'm gonna say that's a big maybe. Um, it depends what assets are in there. Are they um, separate property assets? Are there community property assets in the trust? It really depends. And something to think about, if an asset is protected from divorce and a judge doesn't want it to be, maybe they're looking at your divorce settlement, since they can't touch certain assets that are in the trust, they might take that from somewhere else. So say a house isn't in a trust, that might get awarded more so to the other spouse to balance out the uh, division based on whatever is in that asset protection trust. So I guess the short answer is gonna be yes, assets in an asset protection trust can be protected from divorce, but don't be a dick. People also ask number four, how are asset protection trusts taxed? I would say the majority of them are taxed as grantor trusts is the legal term for it. That just means that the taxes flow through to your personal tax return. So basically whoever sets up the trust is the one who's gonna pay taxes on the interest that's earned inside of the trust. There you have it. People also ask, 